Unfortunately, E3 is over. It was a great year for gamers, a bunch of cool announcements, a bunch of new games, two brand new systems, okay three if you count the hooya, but they were showcasing their little thingy in a parking lot near E3. That's kinda sad, it doesn't count. Anyways, from what I've seen, I am going to run out of money by the end of this year. Which is sad, but then again, which is good, cause that means a bunch of games. There are too many games I am looking forward to playing, even games that are releasing on future game consoles like PlayStation 4 that I don't even have yet. Oh god, hey, I'm NicoBBQ and this is my top 5 games I'm excited to play after E3 2013. Shame on me, I have never played Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. Yeah, I know, boo me all you want, I didn't deal with it. But I definitely plan to redeem myself by picking up Monolith's next game for Wii U, which is currently titled X. This action RPG looks so damn good. Giant environments, which gives the player freedom of exploration, the addition of giant Transformers robots you can use to battle with, some giant enemies and bosses. This looks like a game I will definitely add to my Wii U collection. Last year, Ubisoft's press conference ended with a surprise game named Watch Dogs. Well, this year it ended with another surprise. Tom Clancy's The Division is set in a post-apocalyptic setting where every remaining humans fight amongst each other for survival. Which is sadly pretty accurate. I'm pretty sure in a post-apocalyptic world humans would indeed kill each other instead of trying to survive together. Anyways, it looks like there are tons of missions that you can play with other characters, forming clans and forming teams, answering help calls from other players, and even fighting them along the way. The demo I saw convinced me to check it out. This game doesn't have any release window yet, so I'm expecting a holiday 2014 release at best, but I'm definitely getting interested by that title. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was not impressed by Microsoft's press conference this year. They didn't address any concerns we have about the Xbox One and they pretty much said deal with it. However, they had tons of games, most were first person shooters, which I am not a big fan of, but there was a one game during that conference that blew my mind and that is Titanfall. This game featuring giant titan robots of death looks gorgeous, it looks fun, it looks like there's gonna be explosion and action, it kinda looked good. I know I'm never ever going to pick up an Xbox One and I may miss out on that game. That's a shame. Hopefully they will release it on PlayStation? <laughs> One can hope. Nintendo told us they were going to release a trailer for the next Super Smash Bros. And they released a trailer for the next Super Smash Bros. I was very surprised by the inclusion of Mega Man as a new playable character. And I am happy! I love Mega Man. I have played every Mega Man except the shitty ones. But uh, man, these games are good. So I'm really happy to see Mega Man joining the brawl. Having him fight alongside other Nintendo characters is very cool. There was also the inclusion of the villager from Animal Crossing. That's okay too, but I don't really care about Animal Crossing. I'm still gonna try the character, obviously. And finally, there is Wii Fit Trainer! The character that you've been all waiting for. Okay, not really, but the Wii Fit Trainer really is in the game. Anyway, it was probably the most unexpected thing that happened at E3 for me. But I'm happy about it! More characters means more fun. Okay, let's be honest here, Ubisoft's press conference this year was hard to watch. Bad puns, cringeworthy jokes, uh, was bad. Fortunately, the games they showcased were pretty cool, particularly Watch Dogs. I cannot express how happy I was when they said it was going to be released for Wii U. 
Well, I could have played it on PlayStation 3 technically since I have one, but my Wii U just need games to play, and Watch Dogs didn't disappoint. The demo was as entertaining, if not more, than last year. I cannot wait to grab this game at the end of this year. Well, there you go, those were my top 5 picks for E3 2013. Now I wanna know what were yours, what game really blew your mind and why. Tell me in the comment section down below. And if you're new to my videos, well thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.